So uh, today I'll be doing uh, the review on the Steel Series uh, Ikari uh, Laser Mouse, and you may have seen from my previous video of I did a comparison of this to the uh, Steel Series Kenzu. So I decided just to review this mouse because this is one of the better gaming mouses in my opinion out there in the uh, market at the moment. So um, here it goes. Okay, right, so here we have the uh, Steel Series Ikari. I'm gonna do my view on this. Uh, Steel Series i1 uh, glass mat. It's one of my favorite uh, mouse pads as well. So first of all, just with some uh, basic specs, it goes. Uh, you can. It has really really good uh, programming inside. You can set the uh, DPI or CPI as they call it from anywhere from one to uh, three thousand two hundred. And uh, what else is there? The sensor it uses. It's they say it has a forty thousand senses per minute or frames per second or something like that I'm not even too sure what that means but that probably means like every single sec second it reads off the uh, whatever surface is tracking uh, 40,000 times a second or something so I guess oh, pra in practical use that just means that it's a really good sensor and in my opinion when I'm playing games or anything like that uh, it picks up the movements very very well and it doesn't uh, jump uh, like like uh, the Razer Lachesis mouse or like the Razer Copperhead mouse which uh, these problems have often come up so first off um, the shape of this mouse it's a very uh, weird looking shape and if you first saw it you may think it's a mouse for left handers but it's actually a mouse for right handers because yeah I'll just try like palm giving you a good view like that there's the Play the here. I, I really like it how here there's a um, place for your fourth finger and your pinky to kind of just like rest really really comfortably, and on the right here there's a place for your thumb to rest really well as well. And the side buttons are really well placed as well, so they're just right above the place where you're resting your hand. So when you put it in your hand, uh, or in my hand, in my opinion, it's extremely comfortable. The first time I picked it up. When I uh, put my hand on it, I th it, it was like f the feeling was like uh, putting your hand into a glove, if you can imagine that. That's how uh, this this mouse feels. If you have a slightly uh, smaller hand, this mouse might not be the one for you because this is a uh, pretty lo large mouse. The size is about the same as a Death Adder, where I don't quite have it with me right now, but for me, it fits uh, quite. Uh, quite well. I wouldn't really say perfectly because there is no perfect in this world, but I would say it fits uh, quite well. There's a, uh, I'll just show you the mount button. There's two side buttons here. Uh, there's a high, low, oh you can set uh, your DPI settings to uh, two settings. Uh, either like a high value and a low value and there's you use this button here a DPI changer to change it from high to low so maybe when you're when you need to go into snipe uh, use a sniper or something like that change the low sensitivity go snipe it or whatever change it back to high sensitivity and go play again and there's obviously the scroll wheel button which is uh, quite standard uh, right click left click one thing I really like about this mouse though is uh, first off it is comfortable second of all um the click, the clicks on these this mouse is uh they're very responsive and that's one thing I really like about uh Steel Series is uh how well not really responsive but just really uh comfortable to to use. So I've tried uh, if you're playing games well what games do I recommend this mouse for? Uh, for example, um, uh, FPS is definitely very very good. Uh, if you're playing like RTS uh, games and you need like really precise movements and really quick movements like that, it also works as well. So people have also asked um, w whether this mouse is for a palm grip or a like claw grip. And personally, you would think that this mouse is like a palm grip mouse, and you're probably right because you can put your hands forward and palm grip palm grip it like this. But uh, how I like to kind of handle it is I kind of move my hand back a little bit and kind of claw grip it a little bit so I have that it's not a complete claw grip but then I have that like really nice control I can really quickly like flick through the screen for example if you're playing Dota you want to like go uh, go past the screen or move your map etc so that's very good 
Uh, overall, the price on this, it's about... Oh, God, I can't remember. It's, it's, it's like... 100, 100 US? Yeah, 100 US. You can, US dollars, and you can uh, convert that into whatever currency you want. Um, what else is it? Oh, here's another cool thing. There's a... Uh, you can see, there's an LCD display here and you can set your profile and it would I don't have it on at the moment but you can set your profile and you can display whatever uh, your game name is or whatever name you want it to be uh, here I also put uh, on like uh, mouse gates for the Akari which do protect the original mouse gates and they and these are Teflon of course and they do work on uh, well Teflon works on almost any kind of surface really really well and my personal favorite of course is my uh, glass mouse pad so uh, this, if you're stuck for money and you don't have much money, maybe this mouse may not be the right one for you because it is quite pricey. But if you do have the money and you want a good mouse to use for uh, quite a long time, I would definitely suggest um, the Steel Series Akari Laser. Uh, this is Takasta here again. Hope uh, you like my review. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Anyway, so uh, if you want me to review anything else, like any other kinds of uh, gaming gear, just leave a comment in the video, and hopefully I'll get get to it. Thanks for watching.